In this video demonstration, I will show you how to download international tariff data from trains via the WITS website. We advise that you first watch the How to Load Trade Data into Tradesift video, as this video explains how to use the WITS website and how to check the availability of data. Once you have checked the data availability and you have an understanding of the data, you can start your tariff query. To do this, click on the Tariff and Trade Analysis in the Advanced Query section of the menu bar here. Create a name for your query and enter the query description here. Select Trains as the data source, then click Proceed. As you can see, this screen is very similar to the one we had when we were downloading trade data. You can select the reporter countries by clicking here. Again, I will only select Tanzania from the country list, but you can select multiple countries if you wish. To confirm your selection and close the window, click Proceed. Then select the products. To do this, select your nomenclature. We will select HS Combined from the drop-down list, which combines multiple revisions of the harmonised system. As with trade data, you can select the products in a range of ways using the sections of this window here. In this example, we will request data at the four-digit level. We can do this by opening the Clusters section of the window, then double-click on All Two. Then proceed to the Partner list. If you want to select all countries, click on the Country List window. Then press Ctrl A on your keyboard to select all. Then click the right arrow button here. If you would like to select just a few countries, you can just double click on the countries you are interested in. Once you are happy with your selection, click Proceed. Now select the years of interest. In this example, we will select 2005 to 2014. Then select the duty type. UNCTAD and the World Bank have jointly computed ad valorem equivalents of non-ad valorem tariffs. You can choose to include ad valorem equivalents using this drop-down menu here. For more information about how these are computed, please refer to the WITS user manual. We can select a range of duty types here. We will select all duty types by clicking on the double right arrow button here. Bound rates are the specific commitments made by individual WTO member governments. The bound tariff is the maximum MFN tariff level for a given commodity line. Most favoured nation, or MFN applied rates, are what countries promise to impose on imports from other members of the WTO, unless the country is part of a preferential trade agreement such as a free trade area or customs union. This means that, in practice, MFN rates are the highest tariff rates that WTO members charge one another. Preferential rates are the rates below the MFN rate that a country has agreed to impose on another country's imports under a preferential trade agreement. WITS uses the concept of effectively applied tariffs, which is defined as the lowest available tariff. If a preferential tariff exists, then it will be used as the effectively applied tariff, otherwise the MFN applied tariff will be used. The three types of tariff may exist for the same commodity line. In general, the bound rate is highest. The MFN applied is generally in the middle, and the preferential rate is usually the lowest. Once you have selected your duty types, 
you can click Submit and then OK on this dialog box. You will then be taken to the Download and View Results page where you can check the status of the data request. Once the query status has changed to Completed, click the Download icon here. A dialog box will open where you can select which column headings to include in your downloaded file. When downloading trade data for TradeSift, you are not required to add or remove any fields. However, when you are downloading tariff data, you must deselect product name. You can do this by double clicking product name in the selected columns box here, or by selecting it here and then clicking the single left arrow here. This is really important, as removing this column allows the file to be loaded into TradeSift. If you do not remove this column, then the file will not load into TradeSift correctly. Once you have done this, you can click Download and then OK. You will remember that if you are a free user of Comtrade, you cannot download files of trade data that are larger than 50,000 rows. This is not the case with the Trains database, and therefore free subscribers can download large data files. Once the status of the query is completed, you can click the Save icon here, and the file is downloaded into a zip folder. Open and unzip this folder, copy the file, into an easily accessible folder. TradeSift cannot access files from a zipped folder, so this step is extremely important. Repeat this whole process until you have the data you require for your analysis. And remember, you can always download additional data to load into your project at a later date if required. Once you have downloaded the data, Open the TradeSift window and click Load Data from Files. Now click Tariff. Please then click Add Files in the top left hand corner to open the File Selection window. Navigate to the folder where you saved the files in the previous step. Select the files and then click Open. TradeSift will then validate the file to ensure it is compatible with TradeSift. You will then be able to click the Load button here, which will start the importing process. This can be repeated with multiple files at any point throughout your project. As with the trade data, if you have access to national tariff data, it is not necessary for you to download the data from trains. However, you may be required to edit the column headings or format the file to ensure TradeSift can interpret the information correctly. For more information about using your own data files within TradeSift, please see the TradeSift user manual. Thank you very much for watching this video. For more videos, please visit tradesift.com. And please do get in touch with us if you have any questions.